This is Earth. Unique and balanced planet. Climate changes related to excessive carbon dioxide emissions to the atmosphere and anxiety about the underground storage of CO2 have caused that carbon dioxide has begun to seen as a source of carbon from which it is possible to obtain valuable products such as fuels, chemicals and various types of materials. This technology is energy intensive, therefore the energy used in this process should come from renewable sources. An international team of specialists was created for the analysis of the carbon capture and utilization system. As part of BioCO2 project financed by the Polish National Agency for the Academic Exchange. Hello, this is Dariusz Wawrzyńczak from Częstochowa University of Technology. I'm assistant professor at Department of Advanced Energy Technologies and BioCO2 project manager. The project involves four partners from abroad, Spain, Portugal, two from Italy, and the leader that comes from Poland. The goal of the project is mutual cooperation between the partners to exchange the knowledge and the experience in order to check the complementarity of the system starting from CO2 capture up to useful products as demethylether, which is the fuel, and the CO2 enriched cement prefabricates. As the leader of the task, Częstochowa University of Technology is responsible for data collection, production of activated carbon together with INCAR, and its testing on adsorption installation. Hi, I'm Marcelina Sołtysik. I am a PhD student at the Częstochowa University of Technology and I'm taking part in the BioCO2 project. Hi Marcelina, I see you are working on adsorbent for CO2 capture. Hello Derek, I carry out paralysis of biomass coming from municipal waste. Then I will activate biocar with potassium hydroxide in order to receive activated carbon. The samples will be tested in a thermogravimetric analyzer to select the most effective one. Based on the results, the partner from Spain will produce the right amount of the sorbent, which we will test in our adsorption installation. The installation allows to carry out the research on simulated mixture of flue gas using different methods process, parameters, and configurations. Hello, this is Kova Pevida from INCAR CSIC. I'm a research uh, scientist and I'm the team leader of the Energy Processes and Emission Reduction uh, Group. Within the BioCO2 project, we are leading and developing solid adsorbents uh, for CO2 capture and for this purpose, we are using biomass-based uh, residues. Because we live in Asturias and we have a lot of uh, forest biomass, we are using this biomass as precursor to produce these solid adsorbents. We believe this is a sustainable, benign and low-cost way to produce CO2 adsorbents for CO2 capture. See you! Okay, Derek, we capture carbon dioxide. What next? Two partners from Portugal and Italy tell us about the possibility of its utilization. I am Rita. I am assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering in Technical Lisbon, and I am also a member of SERIS. Uh, the research unit hosted by this department. So this project is a great opportunity to develop research for a more sustainable construction, like low uh, carbon cements and uh, carbon capture and utilization by cementitious materials. We apply forced carbonation in concrete samples 
using one of our carbonation chambers. Uh, the concrete samples are placed inside the chamber for a given period of time, and then we measure the carbonation rate and the carbon uptake by the samples. We can select uh, the concrete composition uh, with the best carbon capture performance and also the carbonation conditions uh, best for uh, industrial viable process. We managed to explore other strategies like carbonation of concrete powder uh, from demolished constructions in an attempt to obtain recycled cement or carbonation of concrete during the mixing process. To evaluate mechanical strength, we use a compression machine which is prepared to press the sample until rupture and then we obtain the strength value of the material, in this case the compressive strength of the material. Bye bye, see you, obrigada e até breve! Giuseppe Bonura, Senior Researcher at the Institute for Advanced Energy Technologies Nicola Giordano in Messina. As the leader of the task utilization of carbon dioxide for DME production, the goal of the work includes a demonstration of the direct catalytic conversion of carbon dioxide in presence of renewable hydrogen into dimethyl ether DMB, a green fuel representing an alternative to traditional fuels with a major benefit of much lower pollutants and dust emissions. In particular, catalytic data are obtained in a large-scale plant for the direct hydrogenation of carbon dioxide to DMP and compared with data obtained from conventional two-step process involving first methanol synthesis and then its dehydration to DMP. These catalytic results in presence of hybrid systems will be elaborated in terms of CO2 conversion and energy demand for electrolyzers. This will determine the amount of hydrogen produced from renewable energy. Grazie, ciao e arrivederci. Can all these tasks be combined in our one wall system by renewable energy? This is the task of our second Italian partner that develops the model of the entire system. I'm Marcello De Falco. I'm an associate professor of the engineering faculty of the University of Rome Campus Biomedico, and I'm the head of the research unit of process engineering. For BioCO2 project, we are responsible of modeling activities to simulate the new process, which is able to recover the waste and at the same time to convert CO2 in an high end product as dimethyl ether. Using process simulation standards, we optimize the complete figuration with the target to maximize the dimethyl ether yield and the CO2 recovery. Starting from a detailed analysis of environmental footprint of energy and exergy balances and of economics, we propose optimized configuration of traditional industrial processes or brand new architecture for energy generation and industrial product synthesis. These new processes are able to achieve high level targets in terms of environmental sustainability, being feasible and cost competitive. The project results will be published in articles, book, and on BioCO2 website. We invite you to read. Bye. Test. Bye.